Hey everybody, happy Thursday and stuff like that. So this week is talking about your period. I thought it was funny. I don't know. I, and also because I, my friend Hannah visited me this weekend and she was looking through my books and I had vagina monologues up there and she's like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to read this book or see this play and stuff. And then so, so I, I was just thinking about like the different things are in vagina monologues. And I remember the monologue series I was 12 my mother slapped me when like, do they just go through and talk about where they were how old they were and stuff and people's reactions and their own reactions to when they got the period so I thought it was funny anyways so let's do this one when did you get your period I like Ashley was in sixth grade and I was 11 but it was my very first day of sixth grade and at my school in middle school um I deprived middle school. Yeah! Panthers! So, uh, you had your English class, which was called core, and core lasted two periods, and so mine was first and second period. So, you got like a little 15 minute, or like a 10 minute break in between the periods and stuff. So, I went to the bathroom with all of my other like girl classmates and stuff, since we were like trying to figure out where it was, and so we go in there. And luckily, like, I knew there was, like, a couple girls that I had gone to elementary school with who were in my class. So, you know, I go in the bathroom, pulled up my pants, look, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, Kelly! Because friend Kelly was in there. And I'm like, Kelly! Oh, gosh, Mrs. Bates. That was her name, yeah. I was like, tell Mrs. Bates that I had to go to the nurse's office. Because, you know, it's, like, all, you know, bleedy, mucky stuff going on <laughs> And she's like, okay. And yeah, and like, that's the most embarrassing thing, too, to be in there with like girls you haven't even met yet. And you're like, I just got my period. Um, and in fifth grade, we had to watch these videos, <laughs> like, um, before we graduated that were about like the changes that your body was going to have. So I totally knew all about this stuff because one, we had to watch the video. And two, I was just, I've always been fascinated by human body functions. And so I had this book called It's a Girl Thing that just like talked to you about all the changes that were going to happen. But anyways, so then like I went to the nurse's office and the office aide was like this boy and I was like so embarrassed. I'm like, um, he's like, can I help you? And then like the nurse aide came over. She's like, she's like, oh, I got this one. She's like, can I help you, sweetie? I was like, I got my period. She's like, oh my God. So she brings me to the nurse's office and she's like digging through these boxes. She's like, I think we have one. And she pulls out this box that seriously looks like it's from the 70s and gives me this fat ass pad <laughs> to go use. And it's like a good thing then. Like I wore like wide leg jeans because I was like seriously like waddling with it. it was so huge but so that really answers the how old were you where were you and how did you react did you use tampons or pads I started out using pads because that's what my mom got for us and I, I don't know I think I was like weirded out by tampons but honestly from playing sports like specifically from being a field hockey goalkeeper because of all the pads that you have to wear it is so uncomfortable if you're on your period and you're using a pad like a maxi pad so as I think it was like my I think it was either fresh at the end of freshman year or sophomore year I was like hell no I'm like I need tampons I cannot deal with this anymore especially when like I'd be in my goalie gear and I had to go like squeeze into a bathroom like if I really had to go and like can pull everything down and change pads is a glorious mess. So I have been a happy tampon user ever since then. And I specifically use OB tampons. Yeah, how's that for a little too much information? Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the nicknames that you give your periods, such as monthly visitor? I, I call it this because my mom has always called this, but we call it in our house your special friend, when your special friend is visiting you. <laughs> I, don't, I, like, I wish you all could just like meet my mom. If you watch that like, Christmas video, when you hear her talk, I, she's, she's funny. It's just like the way she would, says it all the time. She goes, is your special friend visiting you? And then we have this bleach bucket. This is seriously too much information, but at home, like, She'd set up this bleach bucket whenever she knew that one of us was on our period. So, you know, you'd have to take your underwear out, go rinse it in the sink, and, you know, scrub it out, and then soak it in the bleach bucket. But, anyhow, so, special friend is what we call it. Uh, what type of weird food cravings or behavior changes do you get when you're on your period? I know I just like to eat. Definitely, and... I can't really say that I get a craving for like sweet or salty things because I always have a craving for sweet and salty, but I think I definitely like want french fries like all the time. 
for sure. And, and yeah, I mean, like, I like chocolatey things, but I have, I have the hugest sweet tooth anyway. So I would definitely say that I, like, super crave, like, french fries the most. And as far as behavior changes go, I think I'm definitely, like, more susceptible to crying. Like, whether it's, like, a sad crying or it's, like, happy crying or just, like, the littlest thing will just set me off. Like, if it's a TV commercial that, like, jerks at my heartstrings, I'm just like, Whoa! <laughs> Pretty much. And then, uh, to put a twist on this topic, would you have sex with a girl if she was on her period? Do you like doing it while Aunt Flo is visiting? And... It's a fine line for me, honestly. It, I mean, if I'm in the mood, like, really, nothing's gonna stop me, pretty much, except for certain things. I'm just like, okay, no, line is drawn. Uh, but, you know, if you use a tampon and the rest of it's clean down there, then, you know, that's fine. Like, I'm obviously not gonna, you know, yank your campy and go up your special spout. <laughs> but, um... But, you know, play around with your other little special friend who likes to play hide-and-seek. <laughs> Anyways, um, but do I like to do all Aunt Flo's visiting? Not really. I'll be honest, not, not so much. And I definitely, I really don't like having someone go down on me while I'm on my period. Because I'm like, that's nasty, for one. I know it's smelly down there. I like. I know it's smelly. I know it's messy. I don't want, like. I would rather you not do that. Not just for. I'm like. It's really for your sake. Honestly, I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> Seriously, because yeah, I, I wouldn't want to inflict that on anybody. But so, yay! That is my answers to your period this week. Oh, so, hope you enjoy the rest of the week. And hopefully all of our videos get up. We're all, everyone's having so much trouble with their videos and computers and such. I'm really sorry for, you know, the rest of the girls who are having difficulties. Sorry. Anyways, uh, so have a great rest of the week and we'll see you 